UK in terms of productivity, competitiveness, you know, growth and economy. Um, it's really clear there are huge upside benefits of being a member of the single market. Those were actually obscured prior to Brexit. I mean, the whole Bendy Bananas EU red tape. So immigration and of it persists now. People has I mean, what's amazing is that despite this so reverse your trade deal sense? that we've done, despite the fact well, that all I that really Brexit you, red tape I'm, has become I'm red, white and blue tape, like the Sun newspaper, when it was reporting was in the, the row time. over the retained EU uh, law uh, bill, you remember uh, that piece of legislation where they pled, now they've rolled back on it now, but we're going to rip up all EU retained law by the end of the year. The Sun was writing about Bendy Bananas in 2022 or 2023. You know, all those years well, since Boris Johnson was filing his uh, pieces on Brussels regulation. And I think one of the troubles, honestly, is that that no, basic so view about see, Brussels red remember, tape was so embedded in the Tory party that even after it became trans absolutely apparent that UK business didn't want to diverge, it didn't want two sets this. of competing regulations. Remember Jacob Rees-Mogg writing to some war, readers and saying, write in and tell us which EU directives you want stripped yes. away. Well, and Jacob Rees-Mogg, when he launched his dashboard on EU regulation, telling the House of Commons that it would be a productivity boost for the economy, for the time we will come back onto that, I promise you. But just just sort of on this immigration net, point, I suppose what some of the boost to the economy the leaders in the that Conservative belief Party it, and it still holds now to some race. degree, it wasn't was very deep seated. It was about and so, and whilst I think there was some you know, real cynicism post referendum shows after Boris Johnson took over, that where that the sort of sovereignty at all costs approach to Brexit won out, and that was the price of Johnson taking power, and therefore we got the Brexit that Frost delivered. But under that was this sort of deep-seated belief that deregulation could bring productivity, um, when in fact oh, uh, deregulation you're, you're, you're brings right uncertainty, that, uh, which um, deters uh, investment. The immigration and, figures you know, now, having two I, I think separate I'm right, you would, uh, regimes are higher than we've ever had them. So the idea that there was control uh, was just part of the, the, the dialogue. Um, it sounded good. In fact, you couldn't do it. Well, you know. So I think um, I'm the first to say I think this country is probably the best example in the world of a tolerance of a civilized society. I think it probably is. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that everybody subscribes to that view. And I think the problem with the Red Wall, which is where it is perceived the balance of politics lies in the forthcoming election. Misleadingly. What? Misleadingly. Uh, no, because I'm, there aren't that many seats there, are there? Uh, well, there were, there were quite enough, quite a few, quite a few. Um, and uh, uh, you may be right, but, but certainly uh, the perception in, in uh, to the two main parties is that if you stir up Brexit and you stir up the Red Wall, and I think that uh, uh, that, that but, but the, the, the problem is rather interesting, really, because suddenly everybody's talking about parts of Europe, the Horizon Programme, self-evidently, Northern Ireland, Macron's statement uh, and um, um, Starmer's response. Mm -hmm. uh, and none of this has stirred up the... Red Wall. But the issue is immigration. And the one thing, and the thing that really reinforces all of this is the, boat, the boats, which um, uh, where patently we've lost control. Uh, and my own view is clear. The only way we'll ever get control is on a pan-European basis. Uh, and uh, I think one needs to recognize uh, that the frontiers of Europe are where the controls will need to be exercised because Europe is a honeypot. Mm -hmm.